And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Ezreal Karma. This is our last deck for Rank Up Sunday. Um, it's our last chance to have a real good record. Um, but yeah, there's there's really not too much to say about this deck. I mean, it's just it's a deck you've probably played against a lot. It's probably the most popular deck in uh, Legends of Runeterra. Um, you know, both Karma and Ezreal are amazing champions. We're trying to slow the opponent down and just have the game go long and get to turn 10. Turn 10, we can have an Enlightened Karma. We cast multiple spells for, like, each spell is doubled. Um, so then, you know, whenever we cast a spell, we do two to the enemy Nexus when Ezreal's leveled up. And we can do some just crazy stuff with that. Um, I guess our deck that we're playing doesn't have... Doesn't have health potion, but I feel like this deck's supposed to have health potion. But this was the list that we just played last Sunday. It was like the list that was on. Um, I'm gonna take out a solitary monk and play health potion. We're gonna do that. It was the list that was on mobile addicts at the time. I remember last last week talking about how we probably won like a health potion in here, and the, the three. Solitary Monk felt a little heavy. So there we go. Switch it up. Alright, we'll mulligan William and get excited. Get excited does kill Draven and kill Ezreal before Ezreal's leveled. So we'll just mulligan the Williams. Get him, pickpocket. They're not paying attention. No. Didn't work. Guess Mystic Shot? Like, I kind of want to discard the Ezreal. We really don't need Ezreal for a very long time. First big maybe we just try to get him with this Ezreal. Get him. Free Mystic Shots. And Ezreal's gonna die, but I think that's okay. Firing. I think that's okay. Well, that was pretty sneaky. We got to put Ez back in hand. That was pretty sneaky. So they have the mana advantage. Let's pass. Let's see what they do. Progress day. All right, Karma. Go get us some more cards. They're going to have more cards. We need more cards. Dang. Talk about a card that can level up Ezreal. I think the pickpocket's a pretty good play here because we still have the five mana to play our other karma if they use removal on this karma. They have ten cards in hand. They're definitely playing stuff, right? Like, they're not going to... They're not going to just pass with not having anything else. Crimson... Disciple? 
That's different. So both Boom Crew Rookie and Crimson Disciple? And Dravenaz? That's different. Nice, you're real hyped about Bilgewater coming to the game. I don't know anything about Bilgewater. It sounds like it's, you know, just from the name and just thinking of Bilgewater, it kind of sounds like it's going to be like, um, kind of like Shadow Isles. It's Pirates? Okay, okay. So it's a pirate area. Eleven mana. Let's back up. Okay, it's close to the Shadow Isles, but it's about pirates. And used cask salesman. So they have Boom Crew Rookie and Crimson Disciple and used cask salesman. do that to them, you know, hit, hit me for another two and keep that thing out and everything like that. As rolls at six out of eight. Karma will attack for 5 and put him down to 10. And now we're going to be doubling up like these mushroom clouds. See, like we can give them 20 mushroom clouds. They only have 18 cards left. Like the mushroom clouds are are a real thing damage-wise. Obviously, we I would like to level up as Obviously, but I 
All right, if I play as, we're at five mana left. So there's not a huge reason to play as. So we have Will of Ionia plus Health Potion. I'm not going to be able to play Mushroom Cloud this turn. We need to try to stay alive. I mean, they may just have us dead. It's time. That was a good play by them with just passing. That was a good play. Yeah, that was a good play. My plan was probably to, to Static Shock. Be able to turn on Ez. Oh, we're in trouble. We are in trouble. 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 Don't think I can rely on my Ez. trouble. Oh, what if they draw 10 puff caps? Is that possible? Likely? Possible? Probable? 100% definitely happening? Yes, draw those puff caps. Draw them. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Down to four. No, I don't like that. I liked the you draw puff caps thing more. That's not cool. Hmm. I don't think static into Ez. Um, I, I don't think that left me enough, like, that didn't leave me enough mana to really, like, deal with their as. I don't know, maybe it did, but I, I don't, just don't feel like that was going to work out. To have five burst speed spells to kill me, if they would have had five burst speed spells... I mean, they could have just ha done this before playing this Mystic Shot if they had five burst speed spells. Now we're cooking. Did 
Did we get him? They were all like GG in and stuff. Did we get them? Are they gonna draw four puff caps? They're close to you know three for one puff cap wise. Oh, we really need them to draw two puff caps. That's right. Is it my turn? It cannot hide. I got priority there? I thought they were gonna get priority and be able to play their Ezreal and not be able to and be able to block. How did I gain priority? Yeah. GG's. I had it the whole time. Had it the whole time. Look at that, those the puff cap play. Yeah, you know, we dealt six damage with those puff caps. Because I initiated all. Oh no, they initiated it with the. They initiated it with the Mystic Shot, and then I. I will of Ionia afterwards. Yeah, I. I thought I had William initiate that, but no, they. They had Mystic Shot. G G. Yeah, good call there, Alpaca. Good call. That's right. That one looked pretty dire. I definitely think if I would have done the Mystic Shot Ezreal that they would have killed me. And just giving them all those puff caps, they drew, you know, two cards with, um, you know, they drew two cards and took a bunch of puff caps and the rest is history. Zed Callista. I'm not sure what you're going to do for me, pickpocket, but I hope it's something. Yeah, steal this game, pickpocket. That's your job. Oh come on, that's like cheating. That's how you're that's how you're a pickpocket, is you use that thing. Also, how did this situation ever come up? Like where was this guy walking that di he didn't see the pickpocket? So like he was like walking like this way down the down the street and then just like in the alley he's just like oh yeah that that person looks pretty legit i'm gonna walk right next to him you know i'm gonna just ignore this huge claw thing he's holding on to while i have my wallet halfway out of my back pocket oh sorry like like what is this i guess it's I guess, like, these people are right here, so it's supposed to be, like, super crowded, like, a real crowded area that maybe this guy wasn't paying attention to this suspicious character. My poor opponent, they probably think that... Check out the goods on this one. I'm a jerk. What do we get? Haunted Relic? That's what you're stealing? You're stealing relics? Don't go for the haunted ones. Go for, like, regular good relics. What you looking for? You want a haunted relic? Boom. Okay, I like that deny. That's a good card. They have Brood Awakening. I'm not sure if they're playing Brood Awakening, but if they are, they will be denied. Um, uh, I hope this works. Yeah, I think this is my best play.
You want me to just to play the relic as blockers? I feel like with this play, worst case scenario, they, you know, protect Zed with like twin disciplines or whatever, and then they don't have other blockers, so we get to hit with a pickpocket. All right. Five mana. I, I want to relic shock. We can't do that. We'll just attack. We'll just let them trade. Trade Z's. You know, trade trade two drop for two drop. Buy all fees for pickpocket. No! Haunted Relic again? Dude, you are the worst pickpocket. One, you have to, like, use this, this ridiculous tool to steal stuff. Can't even do it on your own. And two, all you're getting are useless Haunted Relics. The worst pickpocket. Gets an Ezreal trigger for us. At least this opponent... Finally we're playing against an opponent that doesn't have Glimpse Beyonds. That makes my life better. I'm getting rid of that Haunted Relic pickpocket. Because I don't like it. So it's gone. Seven. We have here. You, you have earned your ah. Yeah, I could have just let you know let that resolve thermo callista. The problem with let that resolve thermo callista was they would get the shark back. I don't know, they're like attacking with like a bunch of stuff. Yeah, especially after getting getting the shark chariot back. So I just decided to use the deny, because I also didn't know like how good deny would really be. This matchup like how like if deny like what like how much deny would really do. So I thought that was a good a good use for deny. That's what I was thinking. Who's the chump now, Zed? Who's the chump now? Womp womp. On my mark. Uh, let's see, as is at Hey FEMA. Five out of eight, are we playing as? I thought you'd never ask. Let's do it. Just a couple cards over there. Yone would only make it seven, not eight. If if we were at six, I'd be playing the Yone first. Firing. There's 
still passing? I'm expecting them to do something. It's usually what I tell people whenever I see them at a steak restaurant. We meet again. I think they realized that the first time they should have played that death mark on the 3-2, not on the 3-1. All right, fine. You keep your 3-2. Level up Callista. Use some removal for Callista. My as well is going to die. I'm just going to give them 20 puff caps. Just hope they start drawing some puff caps. No way. There we go. Take two. Free Mystic Shot. I guess I should have waited till after combat to play Shadow Assassin. I wanted to see what we drew. Am I supposed to be bouncing my Yone? I'm supposed to be bouncing the Yone. Hold up. Yeah, I have DVD. Yeah, I have. All right, bye, puppy. Are you leaving? Just gonna stand right there. All right. Wait, uh, all right. Bye. Okay. Your end is my duty. Act with conviction. I'm gonna bounce the living shadow. The thing that uh, Callista is bonded with, so that then Callista takes the damage. And we trade. Um, I could also heal the wind, the Yone Wind Chaser, so Yone still stays alive. But then Yone would just have one toughness and, you know, die to the Vile Feast. Where am I at? 22 cards left? I'm just gonna let it happen. What's up, Chump Lump? I'm kinda glad I let that happen, honestly. 
Now I have the two mana to be able to play both of these Mushroom Clouds. Oh no, don't have another one of those. That's not cool. I'm trying to kill you with Mushrooms over here. I have another Callista. It would be four Tuitus if they drew four Puff Caps. Let's go! Three! Oh, that's so close! Hmm, how can we do another point of damage? One, one. Alright, 2 0. With Ez Karma. These puff caps have been very important for us winning both of those games. I think that's one thing about this deck that people don't don't give their opponents the puff caps enough. And we really won those games with the with help of those puff caps. <sighs> yeah, karma is ridiculous. I understand, Ada. I understand. I was like, I want you to win, but I don't like karma. <clears throat> yeah, karma does ridiculous stuff. Yeah, I was I was honestly really surprised that they didn't that the last patch nothing happened to Karma or Ezreal. Like their watch list, they just that was the watch list was both Karma and Ezreal, but I fully expected um, something to happen to this deck, to be honest. Because this, yeah, it's... Like, what Ezreal can do with, like, just killing the opponent out of nowhere of just, like, oh, I'm going to play all these burst speed spells, do 20 damage. It's pretty ridiculous. Do we keep deny? I think we do. I don't want the Ezreals early. Like, those are going to get mulliganed. But it really, I wasn't sure if I was supposed to mulligan deny or not. Out of the two cards, I think Karma is probably like just more more powerful, but I like Ezreal less. I do not like Ezreal's play pattern. Shock these two things. I don't need to attack with this thing. We'll just wait. You know, because we, we have another static shock. anything with Callista.
We're not really pulling ahead like these Shadow Assassins on our opponent's side, getting a lot of cards. Sure. But we are level leveling Ezreal up. Okay, five. This cannot hide. Draw more cards. More cards are good. Especially with opponents just passing. Return to us. Bleh. Bleh. Yone. No, it's not mad. No, I I am very comfortable wearing ties. Oh no. Alright, well that's That's a leveled up Callista. I guess I could not level up the Callista by not attacking. Yeah, I guess we could just not attack, and then the Callista doesn't level up. I was kind of, I was planning on like, you know, Mystic shot their Shadow Assassin. No, come on, come on, attack, attack with Callista. Go ahead, do it. Darn, they didn't do it. Can't just take it all. Alright, Callista is now leveled up. Yeah, at least at least they didn't get to attack with the the leveled up Callisto this past turn. Where there is life, there is hope. Ionia speaks through me. Fortunately, they also have. Hey, there's a burn spell. Oh no. Karma, where'd you go? Oh, come on. Are you gonna jump up? Pop. You can sit up here. Hey, who stop? Oh man, I feel bad for you, Harvey. I'm sorry. Harvey, over here. Come here. There you go. I'll pet you over here with this hand. Alright, that vengeance has been denied. Eight points in. Nice. And I can't kill Callista right now. So we will kill Karma. At least attempt. Nice. Your missed call has been denied. Reconsider. And I'm hoping they play something pre-combat. And we can chase some wins. My is an Keep them from attacking with Callista. Chase the wind. Wind 
Linda is not chasing. Not been chased. If I must. Ugh. I mean, I can't, I can't kill Callista because it's bonded right now. It's too late for you. I can probably go to three against them, right? We are in, hey Virtuoso, we are in Master's Rank. That's not cool. That's not cool. Master. We'll shoot Callista so that the other two damage goes to Callista. And it gave us two Ezreal triggers. Yeah, basically when Callista attacks, like how it's, you know, it's bonded, like it takes the damage for Callista. So any any damage that would go to Callista. So how Callista attacks like that, you can still block Callista with something that would kill the ephemeral thing. And then, you know, instead of the damage happening to Callista, it kills the ephemeral thing so you don't take the damage from it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, sure, we, we do have double sown seeds, but I don't even know if that's any good. Grant an ally elusive? That could be useful. You get three. That's a lot of buff caps. Let's go. Let's go. We got ten mana to protect. We have stand united. We have spirits refuge. The problem is, is barriers aren't very good against karma. But Stand United's kind of a little different because, you know, you switch the spots. Let's go. Three now. Zone Seeds is from P and Z, from Piltover and Zon. Dude, Ezreal Karma stacks pretty ridiculous. Especially the whole, that Karma card. Pretty ridiculous. Oh, yeah, I guess I probably should have just cast the Flash of Brilliance, shouldn't I? Before I did any of that other stuff. Just got some free cards. My hand was kind of full, though. It was pretty full. 
<laughs> as karma uses every everything everybody ha hates. It has Ezreal, it has karma, it has elusives, and it has burn. Sure, that's all the best stuff. We'll keep these two. It's not often I would mulligan thermogenic beam from my opening hand. But if they're not going to be playing their threats till a lot later, even though thermogenic beam can kill them. I'm not sure if I want to, like, have my opening... You know, it's kind of like keeping Vengeance in the opening hand. You know, I don't know if I really want to do that. Get out of here. What are you doing? Get out of here. Hmm, that's weird. All these stones, that's pretty weird. No, not the hearth guard. Ugh, I don't like that. Stand together. Excuse you. I'm not feeling so good about this game for us. Not feeling so good. Especially if they just play Anivia. If they have nothing but removal, then, you know, they gotta use removal on this thing. No. 3-5 Anivia. GG's. How this game's played out, it's definitely looked really tough. Um, they, they've had, like, the perfect, you know... They've honestly had the best possible hand that deck can have. I don't think it's a bad matchup. It's just how this, this game's played out. It's been a bad matchup, but... Um... I'm not very high on this this War Mother's Call deck. I don't think it really has good matchups. Um, but they're gonna win this one most likely. So I've nine mana. I can protect Karma a little bit with deny. I know I could key guardian first, but ideally would be enlightened before I key guardian to draw two. Oh, I should have just thrown a mushroom cloud out there, shouldn't I? Yeah, I need to throw a mushroom cloud out out there. I just burned this card. So I think their plan is War Mother's Call. So I'm gonna play the Ezreal. I they pass, I attack, I get three damage in. They pass back. Wait for me to play Mystic Shot. I don't play Mystic Shot.
and they just wasted their turn. Right, that thing's leveled up. I should have dealt with it. Should have played the T2. Take from the reach, give to me. Yeah, I should have blocked with the shadow. Yep. Saved four life. out of eight. wonder why they're targeting that, not Karma. stuff. Not sown seeds. That's the worst possible card to hit. It's like the actual worst card out of all of. Um, like out of everything. That's the that's the worst one. Burning something right now. Yeah, get rid of that soul gorger. Hey, Blindo, it's going good. Problem with those vile feasts they played earlier. I think they should have killed the Karma, not killed the Ezreal. Pretty sure they should have killed the Karma. Got a rekindler out of here. Basically, want to keep them. Having all their stuff out, you know, like we're taking four damage. We're gonna try to be killing them. I'm not I'm not trying to get rid of any of their units. What do you think about Shadow Isles Ezreal instead of Karma Ez? 
I think Karma's too good. And then, you know, you get Deny also, but I just think Karma's too good. Uh, That's a problem. All right, down to two. Oh wait, oh no, those things kill me. All right, yeah, that atrocity is a problem. I could have bounced it, I should have bounced it. With the other William. Oh, I should have. I thought I was gonna be staying at two. I forgot about the, the two damage from the spiders. I should have checked the, the eye. I thought that I could do that, stay at two, and so I could still cast Karma that turn with that, that mana that I had. I, yeah, I thought I could stay at two. Teemo Jinx. I'm gonna get rid of the Karma against Teemo Jinx. We need to find early stuff. You know, we'll have the pickpocket trade with something on turn two, then we'll have the monk. Rip. Ugh. Yeah, I definitely could have bounced it and saved that life. I just thought I was going to two, and I thought that, that I would still be safe. And I was going to try to kill them the next turn. Forgot about the spider attack. Mobby. Alright, well they do have turn one Teemo. We got turn one beam. Poor Teemo. Getting beamed up. Alright, we'll, we'll beam this thing up. We get to draw a card again. So we're still even on cards, 4-4. Four to four. So that's probably good for me that a thermogenic... Or, sorry that a um, augmented experimenter is gone. I can do this. Get him, pickpocket. Get him. Well, I didn't do anything. Got him. That'd be great to be able to play Static Shock this next turn. No static shock here. First big mission. All right, so we'll play this the solitary monk. Pick this back up. Now we can block the one four and keep the one one alive for me to shock it this next turn. Um, and I don't, I don't think I'm playing the pickpocket back. I think we're going with shock. So I'll just go straight to attacks. Good job, Monk. Way to protect the pickpocket. Opponent, you can do stuff. Go ahead. Any day now. Any day now. Any day now. This is a Baltimore Ravens free agent that we're playing against. My Silverwing doesn't like Ravens.
Oh, they're playing slow. My dogs are getting restless. They're like, it's dinner time. And I'm like, it's not, not yet, puppies. But we got one more game to win. That's right, we're gonna win this, pup. Little girl. More pup. Maybe a little tail. Maybe a little tail. <laughs> Harvey? Harvey, I've been petting you so much. Relax. I can relax. You want some overwhelm type deck? You can try the Yeti Smash. I know we only went 2 3 with it today, but it's a good deck. You get some good 5 5s and everything. We were getting pretty unfortunate in those games. Stop. Harvey is unbelievable. My poor chair. So we're down to eleven. I really hope they don't have jury rig. Yay. You know, one mana burst speed. So 11 or block? It's actually probably better to block. Right? Triple Yone? Like, it's probably better just to not go down to 11. Honestly. I am not a Lamar Jackson fan. I'm actually a, a Steelers fan, so I am not not a Ravens fan. So I was I was born in Iowa, where the Iowa Hawkeyes fan and the Iowa Hawkeyes are black and gold. And so then I so then when I was a kid, I chose the Steelers to be my team because they were also black and gold. The Hawkeyes. Let's make it deep. Yeah. It was definitely a rough year after Big Ben went down, but the defense was just incredible. Real excited about, you know, the defense for another year with Mika Fitz Fitzpatrick and everything. Um We'll have to see with I don't really want to discard a Yone. I want to go down to 10. We do have to be worried about, you know, a couple decimates and things like that. That life can go real fast. But I do have a deny. I'm going to keep the Yones. Um, you know, definitely am worried about you know, age, what, like 39? Ben Roethlisberger? For the upcoming season but you know according to him he feels he feels great and his arm feels better than it has in in years after the surgery he had last year and that he's really he, you know he's real motivated and excited to prove a lot of people wrong to think that he's done for at his age so you know we'll see
But yeah, that is, I mean, that's just like, yeah, that is true. That is what everybody does. I mean, you can't, like, what? what is he supposed to say? What is, is he supposed to say, you know, he's starting, like, the first year of a, you know, two-year, $60 million deal. Like, two years, $60 million. What is he supposed to say? No, nah, I'm washed up. I got nothing left. I can't throw the ball anymore. <laughs> you know, what, what are you supposed to say? Anyway, there we go. So that's that's Rank Up Sunday. This deck is incredible. 4-1. Um, yeah, I mean, just Karma and Ezreal are both just pretty ridiculous. And the, the things they get to do, especially this Karma card, it's a good one. Yeah, just a just a really good deck, you know. This is probably the best deck. You know, Karina's probably right there too. These are probably like the two best decks. That's why they're on our rank up Sunday tomorrow though. We'll have, you know, if you don't if you like to see like, you know, some different decks and, you know, you like to see some crazy janky uh combo decks and everything like that, see if we can make it work. That's what we're going to be doing tomorrow. We're playing meme tier Monday. We're going to be playing some meme decks. I know for sure we're going to be doing a Poro deck, and we're going to be doing a Catastrophe deck. Catastrophe. So we're going to be doing those two. Um, I don't know how. I don't know how we're going to have this Pursuit of Perfection Catastrophe. How we're going to have it work, but we're going to try. Um, yeah. So that's where that's what we're going to be doing. So uh, where did we end up? Uh, we ended up like around. 2154. No, no, no. Cancel, cancel. Oh, 2154. I thought I was going to have to play to see where it was. But yeah, 2154. Not bad. Not bad. <sighs> yeah. All right. But uh, that's it here for Rank Up Sundays. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, uh, please hit that like button over there and uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see tomorrow on Meme Tier Monday. Let me know if you got any deck ideas that you want me to make. All right, but that's it here for Ezreal Karma, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.